because when they see their own reflection in a window, they will attack. So he's going to show you that just now. There we go. So you can see just how hard you can hit that window. Very, very hard. Well done, Kato. Now this seems quite funny to us, but actually when it's a glass window, they can quite easily break it. So what happens is a lot of people see these birds as pests and they're now shooting them on site. So this is having a devastating impact on these lovely, lovely birds. So I'm just scattering some small insects for Kato just now. These are called mealworms. He really loves them. And you can see just how delicately he's picking them all up with that beak, showing you just how good it is. It's like a pair of tweezers picking up every single one. Now these birds aren't very fussy about what they like to eat, so I do have a rubber snake here to show you how you can kill one of them out in the wild. So he's grabbing it just behind the head and giving it that's how Kato would kill a snake out in South Africa. So I'm just going to keep on distracted a little bit while a little while longer with those mealworms while I try and hide something in our arena here today. Now Kato does have excellent eyesight. His eyes can actually move independently so he can see what's going on all around him at all times. So hopefully he didn't see me hide that today and hopefully he'll show you some foraging behaviour in just a few moments time because these birds would normally live in groups of up to 10 or 12 individuals and it's only ever the dominant male and female in the group that are allowed to do any of the breeding. So it's the job of all the other hornbills in the group like Cato that are juveniles, they aren't quite fully mature yet because you can see he's still got a few male patches on his throat sack. So once that's completely coloured up, we'll know he's fully mature. So what happens is he has to go around foraging, looking for food, as he's showing you just now, having a look in all our hidey holes around the arena to see if he can find any tasty snacks. Um, so what he would do, that rather than eating that food himself, he would take it to the bed to Hand puppets so the chicks 